tell me a little bit about the Essex Bat Group. Well, we're all volunteers, which is the uh, first thing. Um, basically, we're concerned with the conservation of bats. Uh, we are members of the uh, Bat Conservation Trust, um, and there's various people around from that. Uh, we get calls all during the day um, that we've got about, around about 30 ambulance drivers any time of day. If someone finds a bat, we can rescue it and bring it back to a bat hospital in Harlow. Uh, we also do a lot of educational programs and a lot of uh, surveys to see how the bat population are going on. And, and how is the bat population? <laughs> Not too bad at the moment. I mean, it has suffered terribly due to the same old reasons of trees etc being cut down, um, roads being built where there used to be a ditch line where bats used to go to their feeding grounds following the, the tree lines. Um, but at the moment some of them are not too bad, a couple of them are a bit iffy, uh, down, down south mainly, uh, some of the rarer breeds. We've got 18 breeds in, our, in Britain and a few of them are worse off than others. And the, um, what is a typical problem for a bat so, you know, when somebody calls you? Um, cats, believe it or not. Um, uh, yes, we get probably about 70% of cats. Uh, some things are lack of food, simply through their habitats being disturbed, uh, building work, etc. Which all can be sorted out through consultation to get it done at the right time. Yeah, uh, so that's, that's the majors. And, and how long have you been involved? Is, is this a labour of love? Oh, definitely, yeah. We don't get paid or anything like that, but uh, they're, they're wonderful creatures. They're amazing when you start to go into them. Uh, I went to um, a bat walk at the local reserve, uh, local reserve, and since then I've been, me and the wife have been involved. We've got bats indoors under licence, because you have to have licences. Uh, looking after them until they're ready to rehabilitate and fly again. Thank you very much.